professional scribes for the purpose of teaching and distribution of the word of God. New Testament was written in Hebrew, and they were kept in the temple. As soon as God began to spread, copies in Hebrew were made by Christ for distribution and use in the first synagogue, and also for individuals for personal use. Between the Century eight and eleven century AD was so ready to scribe a special group of Hebrew scribes with an acute sense of duty to his God, meticulously copied the Hebrew text, the masquerading manuscripts at the basis for the place of the Hebrew text. So, uh, Hebrew for the Hebrew text themselves for their synagogues. In the professional were employed and they sat down and edited the, uh, the Hebrew text that is what demonstrated that, that is what protestants now as they translate the Old Testament they go from that is edited the other ones were written by just anybody the himself full of mistakes this is proved in that is proved also discovered in the Palestine by a Bedouin head who was looking for his lost gold. The firm the authenticity of the Hebrew Old Testament uh, New Testament text. Here comes the New Testament photograph would have been made either in the which the book was first or addressed. For instance, Paul would have an extra copy of a typical Senate of the church in Gaza upon receiving the epistle. could also have made a copy for the community and additional copy as we needed how they suffered. We needed the Bible. These earliest copies could not have been, have been copies, not professionals, not made up of a living, simply literary members of a congregation who had the time to do the job. These usually had the tendency to alter the material as they passed it on. Introducing errors into the text. So if I am writing it for myself and I think something should have been there which is not there, put it there myself. After five years, if somebody copies, if somebody copies from my copy, Know that I added something, then he copied it at the text, and he also adds his own, and then it keeps going. <laughs> As the Christian church spread through the Mediterranean world, new congregations springing up in major areas, the literature of the early Christians flourished. For many variant readings of the surviving copies of the Greek fragment or of the New Testament. By this concept, virtually all the books that were eventually included in the New Testament produced, written, edited, and circled. of the scriptures are right. This resulted in a professional scribes which joined the faith of the result result in errors. In 
fourth century, however, when Christianity received the official state sanction, it was possible for the commercial production of the books of the New Testament by commercial book manufacturers who are called our scriptoria. Several trade tribes, Christian and non Christian, usually sat. Transcribes Christian and non Christian usually sat in a room called the scriptorium, each equipped with parchment and ink, and would write a copy of a book they produce or lecture, slowly read aloud the text of the exemplar. In this way, many copies of a book will be reproduced simultaneously by scribes working together in the scriptorium. This is the Dead Sea Scrolls, which were discovered in the cave, were all found in these jars because they had been hidden. And these are Christ's attack by copying data for themselves or for the congregation. And this is another scribe making a scroll. This is a scriptorium where a group of monks those Christ who come together, one person reading, all of them will be writing. Source of error in the transmission. Manuscript copied by hand, even by professional scribes, was prone to errors. The errors that occurred in the transmission of the paper captures included unconscious errors. Unconscious errors include errors include Translating the version, 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 version,
I like the line of them, of them, of them, getting, getting text, text. Was, was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it it was, it was, not
will give, will give us a and, and, and that is that is Christian.
prayer and fasting. Appear before Jesus at the office. Critics eating or eating and to do much. When you compare him to Judah Baptist, whose life was characterized by rigid fasting. In the Bible of the Lord Jesus Christ, it was the supernaturally enabled body in the wilderness during all he was tempted by the devil in much of the world. This fasting was supernaturally enabled if you tried. But definitely didn't be a fast. We fast so that we can operate the authority of God. We fast so that God will hear us every morning. We fast so that we can be a need and appetite for the hidden and the problem. Why did he fast? He fasted at the end. He fasted to be accepted by the Jews and already. Who were also not able to fight for 40 days, was twice. Even in water, for 40 days, and another for 40 Because the maximum number of days to be covered that water is 40 days. You can go to one week. <laughs> if you are if you are slave, don't two days you will be gone. Recently I read on Ghana where of a Zimbabwean pastor who wanted to fast like Jesus did. He was in the desert for forty days. He brought his wife to buy it. The disciples of Lord Jesus Christ also did not To pray, it appears that he didn't teach them to fast. Because there is not even one instance in the Bible of the disciples having met anywhere for a day, a 24 hour, a 3 day, a 7 day, 21 day, 40 day, a 55 day, a 100 day fast. There is not even one instance of the disciples gathered somewhere to do a fast. None. This appears. The curiosity of envy of the disciples of the Baptist and of John the Baptist, who inquired from Jesus that they fasted often. After the examples of their masters, his disciples did not fast, but went about eating and drinking. Luke chapter 5, verse 10. Jesus reminded them of the Jewish practice of fasting at funerals, feasting at weddings. And that since his disciples were at a wedding with him and their bride, he didn't have to fast. A day will come, however, when the Lord will be taken from them and they will fast. For the three days that their bride was killed and taken away from them, therefore, the disciples fasted and wept. Mark chapter 16, verse 10. When he came back to life after three days, however, their morning turned into a blessing. They ended their morning and fasting. Chapter 10, verse 14. So all the appearances of Jesus after his resurrection was rejoicing in him. On the road to the house, when you go to the house, he broke bread with them. Because it's a fasting over. It is when you eat and make because I am back. Then when he went back to Jerusalem. When the others went to shake, he went to 
the show. Is there a friend? Do you have any place to have visited? They came back. He himself had fish on the on the fire. Bring some of your fish. Let's have breakfast. Jesus said that more time is over. Your brain is away from this. Come on. And you wait. And he does. And eat. And make. Jesus is the disciple. The double parable. The new parable. In the new one. Okay. So Jesus therefore. The idea of praise God. And attract his attention. Fasting in the Bible is more Jew than Christian. The Jews fast twice a week. Gamble, Sensing, and Dima fasting, prayer, and mention in the Sermon on the Mount, chapter 6, verse 1 to 18, as the three pieces of Jewish piety. Also, fasting for the day of atonement, to mourn the day, to demonstrate the catastrophe, and to placate God. Sometimes we head, other times in spite of their fasting. In Psalm 58, 3 to 5, they are quite fasted and you have not seen it. How we for ourselves and you have no peace. In spite of this, we come to the table of fasting to save the life of the child. We had a real wife and it never delayed. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, the name of the Lord was drought. The Lord was drought. Though they often burn, they all burn from the ingredients and all that set them. Instead, I will destroy them and sword from the ingredients. Because they needed to know their party and show their good in the world. This is no one had died by the ingredients for them. Therefore, they had no one to have their own. Fasting is Christian. The elite did not have a pattern of fasting. Christ has not just remained in the church the same AD. The rules include Jewish influences in the early church. The final operations during the office of manuscript, the right of asceticism and asceticism in the church, the second century. Struggle practice of Judaism, even as Christian, as 15 verse 1 and 5, as chapter 21 verse 20. Practice that the Jew practice of Judaism is still in the church in Antioch, Libra, and Iconium, as the 18 verse 20. If Peter struggled with going to the house of Amelia because of the Jewish thinking that Amelia was unclean, as chapter 10 verse 1 to 18. Of the 20th century, 
Began to establish mandated periods of fast. For instance, fasting was required for baptism. Lent, the 40 day period of fasting for repentance and preparation for Easter, in Ash Wednesday, for instance, was unknown to the first century church. Lent developed gradually from the second century as four days of penitence and self examination before Easter, till 300. 25 AD Council of Nicaea, when it changed to 40 days to meet on Wednesday, Good Friday, and all other Fridays of the 40 days. This is not in the Bible. This is not in the first century. It started from the second century. In the second century, the Jewish practice of fasting two days a week continued. But because they didn't want to hear the Jews, they changed it from Monday to Thursday, from Wednesday and Friday. The second century church started to not the first century church, not the apostles. Christian asceticism and monasticism. Asceticism is of self denial in an attempt to draw closer to God. It may include disciplines as fasting, celibacy, wearing very simple and sometimes uncomfortable clothing, poverty, sleep deprivation, and from fasting, that is touching your body, just get closer to God. This happened from the second century, down from the first century. Mutilation. Asceticism flourished in Christianity from the second century, leading to monasticism. By the fourth century, ascetics and monasteries had been established in many parts of the world. Christian ascetics called desert fathers and anchorite hermits. Live very extreme lifestyle in the heart and desert of Egypt. All these ascetics on the Baptist as their role model because the extreme ascetic life of fasting that they live. It is the statue adorns the premises of all monasteries of ascetics. Put the statue of Jesus because he was always eating and drinking. Because they didn't want to eat, they put John the Baptist as their model in all monasteries. It was the thinking of the Christian ascetics and monks that very extreme and hard style drew them closer to God and qualified them for the fullness of the Holy Spirit. That was their thinking. Others were upset with the baptism. Since persecution of Christians had seen after the in the first century, asceticism was their way of continuing to suffer for Christ. Some of them lived of the women shaved hair and could not be identified as women till they are be prepared for burial. Some walked on hearts and pions and food and still others grazed with antiques like animals. Some wore chains that restricted their movement and refused to shave for years. One in the room with his toenails grown That he did not remove from his feet for me, he didn't have a bath. Because he wanted to get closer to God, he wanted to be full of the Holy Ghost. Some of the days he stood upright for 14 days in condition, as I said, for long periods. There was one called Anthony. Them, he was in the desert of Egypt. And people discovered him and gave him food. 
to move deeper into that so that no and and pass pass only only bread bread
definitely differ in many areas from a translation from a Greek New Testament based on the text of preceptors. While no human effort ever produced an absolute perfect copy of the original Hebrew or Greek text, critical texts of the Greek New Testament, for instance, are very likely to be closer to what the New Testament has wrote. Critical Greek text has the advantage of drawing from many and more ancient manuscripts and their variants in the attempt to get the most accurate way possible. The chief edition of the next critical text, chief editing of the United Bible Society critical text, are texts that are now used by most translators of the Bible in English. The 611 King James Version was translated from the Latin Bible and the text. No Bible version is bad. It has to be dumped into the flesh. Differences between Bible versions touch the mental doctrines of Christianity. Some versions are better as the sense that they have been translated from Christianity, which are pure. The recommendation, therefore, is for to have one Bible version. For instance, Example the King James Version and the other from a critical text that is from the NIV years before the years. Using fasting in the post Christian era, the spirit of the Christian receptors in terms of photographs has been established. Thank you. So I've, so I've been, been two, 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 question.
that is the way in heaven, the Father is the way in the grave. It's not in the grave. So, to my mind, that if the critical can be the community, the science, the science, the down on the community, the other places in the critical text, which comforts the deity of the Christ. So, we believe that rather additions in the Christian text, I think, from the the Christian. Sometimes you say, but ah, they will move you from it. You, you say that there's this, you are using the text to say standard. It's a standard. Some people say that there are verses in the people which are not in the NIV, and therefore NIV will remove it. That means you are saying that it's the Christian text. No, the Christian text is that. King James is not the standard. He means Anglicans. Later, revise the King James. Because they realize that this seven King James was I'm going to show you uh, Okay, this is the sixteen seven King James of John Let's read if you can For God so loud you were in him to not perish, but how well it will equalize him. This is the thing you're living to do this. Now let's see the 1769 Oxford standard because the African church and put this from Oxford to revive the King James Version. And this is what they're that person. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believeth in him, do not perish. This is more possible. The table is still a big game. You can't read. And if you compare Oxford and that victim to the system, there are over 10,000 words which have been because they realize that they are either not correct or who can understand it. Church on Sunday, we read the script. Jesus having come to the shore where Peter and the others were reading. In the verse, he says, Peter was naked. So he put on his garment and came out. The NIV says that he put on his outer garment, which is for his feet. He said, Naked today. Peter was nowhere in a day. But that's not what he did today. The first time that Jesus had put the fish on the yard of the Trinity. People are thinking, why is it the moon? But the NIV or the, the critical text to say, you have to make it. Amen. Well, thank you very much. So, next, I will take five Yes, that's the first cost of the question. And now, we're going down with that. We're going to be able to do it. 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 Yeah. So, that's fair.
very much. My name is Sam. I hope I am of God. Um, when Jesus was in opposition was Jews, I represent in the time of Jesus. And he taught from Now he then also came from them.
Okay, so we'll join us. Okay. Uh, my name is uh, Mrs. Bequim, and my mission today is called the Ministry of Healing. And I'm a ministry in 26 years, and I'm a Catholic Gamma. I want to ask, I want to put my question to this the man who is speaking. First of all, I have fasted seven days dry, no food, no water, and I'm still here, so it's possible. That's number one. And two, I want to ask a question. According to Matthew 17, he came down from the Mount of Trans and he met his disciples, they were trying to do something out of him in a man. And he couldn't. And after the crowd left, the apostles came to the disciples came and asked him, How come we couldn't do it? And he said, This power comes only by praying and fasting. I put my hand this particular thing. It seems to me that after we leave here, we'll go to our churches and start confusing our past by saying, have to fight this particular event to later that life. What I see is a mass of confusion coming because some will say I will go fast, some will say I will fast, some will say I will do what I want. And I know as a doctor that God is has a lot of intemperance. A lot of intemperance. And I know that fasting gives you power. I don't care what anybody says. Fasting gives you power. So when you say we shouldn't fast, I have a problem with it. A big problem because the Bible says we need to fast power. So I want to understand what exactly you are trying to tell us now. Okay. Okay, thank you. So we'll take that one, but we'll come to you. I want to pull up. I am 
Is not, it is in the, in the Jewish scriptures that you should do it. That if you have to read the Jewish scriptures, like I said, then you should go to church on that. Yes. But what did Paul say? When I met Christ, consider those as a tongue. If he wished that he was a tongue, he was using it. But that is what. Okay, now go to the Saturday. Submission. No submission. What do you think about scripture? Yes. The Testament was written about six years after the event that the but inside the So so if there is scripture, yes. If you were teaching purpose about document that the old testament which was then in existence. But they needed it for that I say until you can talk to me when you go to check on Saturday. <laughs> I cannot see. Give the idea. The first one is, was it written until the prophet? The prophet. Number two, was it written by Mark was a close associate of Peter, so he was one Luke was a close associate of Paul, so he was one of them. That's why they became, they are not possessed. But close, in fact, he wrote all that Paul did. So if you also write the gospel, it will be accepted. Then the Bible says, the Bible. You said the Bible says it means to have chosen the kingdom as a standard. Because it's not in the in the ethical text. So you can say the Bible the kingdom says. And with the King James has been revised so many times. Besides, two demons. I can't have demons. There is no demon who has ever told me as you go and fight before I go to cast it out. Not before I cast the demon, because I need an example. Jesus answered when they asked, Why couldn't he cast out? He said, Because your faith is weak. Yes. So the addition is not from this, it has been added. That is what I'm trying to tell you. That's why it is not in the particular text. No. You see, why couldn't we cast out this demon? What was the cause of your unbelief? Oh. No. The addition is what I'm telling you. That's why it's not in the critical text. It is an addition. 
by somebody that is that text, which is more purer than the text because Jesus answered them, you can't have your own belief. That's all. So that teaching from Jesus is from somebody who altered the scripture. Because no demon had ever refused to fast. In fact, it is when I eat that I'm able to fast. And then again, so did the doctor. Are you going to recommend fasting for your patients? You need to fast without water for seven days. Please don't recommend it to your patients. Of course, I, I, if you are going to fast for 100 days, but if you do you would. Without water, I 
Jews from Galilee, from the Capitals, from Jerusalem, from Judea, and from Jordan. So this is my scenario. One chapter six. There was a city crowd. I wanted Jesus to tell them, "Go away, eat my flesh, drink my blood." And the disciples said, "This is a heresy," and they left. He turned to the twelve. You all go. That's the chain. And Peter said, Where are we going? We will come to you. We will die with you. Yes, he is addressing the crowd. Who said it is too hard? We can't take it. There. They are all the It's the crowd. And he had. Anytime he talked to the church, he addressed the twelve. That's what you can do. He addressed the crowd. Take it. I'd like to say to Dr. Dakwa for his brilliant delivery. I was just thinking to myself, what a brilliant delivery, a controversial uh, case study. And if you are not careful, I think what the controversy is in the case study, you forget that in the main delivery. Let's come to his conclusion. In conclusion, he said that a profession is to be thrown away. And that the differences in the various versions do not touch the fundamental teachings of the Bible. And that's very, very important. Because we are in an era of uh, rising so much, so much is happening. That's what many years ago Augustine said that when, when we come to these matters, we have to remember that there are some things we call essential essential to our faith. And those essentials, there must be unity. That's what he's talking about. And the teaching of the Bible which differs on those days. God, who God is, his origin and his power, his authority, Jesus Christ and his work. Like our sin and we have been controversy. go around, I see that you see, of course, uh, some other churches, you know, but it's true. It's diversity. It means we could Yes, there are some things that, as you say, well, it is required by God. Say doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. It's you. It's your, your growth and your identity. But just don't go teach that, or you must do that, or you're a Christian. You must do that to go to heaven. So those those are nine initials. In the nine initials, there must be diversity. Agree that 
there's, there's diversity. So when I, I go to a church and they don't do the way I do it in my church, it doesn't mean I run away to this bad church. No, it's not in church. But in all things charity. In all things charity. Paul says, and now after all the gifts and everything, someone was going to bring up, bring up a topic of tithe. And so I will not get me out of here today. Some of the Bible agencies do they have the no, go to the they have the Bible in English. That is what people speak. That's what I understand. So it should be about the emotions. But understand that's what that's what it's all about. We understand it and let it be fruitful. That's what it's about. Going back to you, going back to you, 
listen to it again. Very quickly, go back to the scriptures like the real yeah. to check whether what the lecture said was true or false. After seven years, I have no doubt that we are in the right path as well. And so, and more find this. And so it is our responsibility to become doers so that the answer said that we have heard will go from here to the most parts of the world. That is our responsibility. That is our commitment. Just but also and committed to the going every from the cities to every nation. That is responsibility, and that is what I'm here to encourage you to do. Of course, it takes
directly from the Thank 